Hi folks, and uh, in today's video, we're gonna be chatting a little bit about breakout rooms. Now, if you haven't heard of breakout rooms, um, this is a feature within Zoom, okay? And uh, if I click on a new meeting over here, then you'll see the feature at the bottom of your screen. So there you can see over there, these breakout rooms. Now, in order to do this, you would need to go to your browser. Um, you need to actually sign into your Zoom account. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm already signed into my account. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go down to settings. And then we're going to go over to in meeting advance. And over there you can see all I've done, I've just activated it. It doesn't cost anything. Um, so you can do this on the free profile that you have. Uh, and I've just activated that and then put a tick in allow host to assign participant to breakout rooms when scheduling and allow host to broadcast message to participants. Um, you've also got another option, allow host to view activity statuses of participants. Um, so in other words, what's happening within those rooms if you want that. Okay, it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna go back to my Zoom. So if you haven't done that, this little icon here of breakout rooms, or this option, it won't appear. Okay, so once it does appear and I'm in a Zoom, I can click on breakout rooms and this is what we see. We have a number of options. Um, you can see I can assign automatically, which means, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how many people there are in a particular Zoom, it will automatically uh, create rooms. I can decide over here how many rooms I want to create. So let's just say for argument's sake, I'm going to use three. Assign automatically. And I'm just going to say uh, create. And there you can see the room. So me as a host, right? Remember, this is the host doing this. I can see who is in, you know, which particular room. I can rename the rooms if I want to. I can delete rooms. I can assign people to a particular room. But I also have, and I can always add a room if I've forgotten. Um, I can click on options here and you can see we have a number of options. We can allow the participants to choose a room. So let's say, you, for example, you have in some sort of strategic meeting, you have everyone in a Zoom and then you say, well, the marketing people are going to go to a particular room. The PR people are going to a particular room. It's still within the Zoom session, um, but they're just going to a separate area where only those people who are in that particular room will be able to hear and see one another. Okay. Uh, you've also got the option of allow participants to return to the main session at any time. So when those folks are done, they can leave that room. And I'll show you how to do that and come back. You can also automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms, which is the automatically assign. Breakout rooms, you can stipulate how much time they have. So you can say, look, guys, we're breaking out for 10 minutes um, and then we need to come back. And you can also close all the rooms and say, well, look, it must show people a countdown timer. So I'm just going to click on open all rooms and you'll see now all participants have been invited to join the room. Obviously, I'm the only one here. You can see in progress and you can see the timer and I'm going to join room two. So I'm just going to click on that. It's going to ask me, do I want to join it? I'm going to say yes. And there I'm now joining room two. So I don't see what's going on on the main screen of the Zoom. In other words, the main session itself. I'm now in a separate room where I can go and chat and you can see I'm the only participant. So that's all fine. And then you'll see at the bottom I've got a button that says now leave room, not leave meeting. I'm just going to leave the room. Okay. So uh, no one in the other rooms can hear me. I'm going to go leave room and leave breakout room. And there it's going to return me now to the main session. Okay. And there I am in the main session. Okay. So guys, uh, this is this is a very nice feature that Zoom has. Um, you know, you can use it for so many different things. I am currently using it to facilitate um, prayer meetings where I've got, you know, people uh, coming together to pray here. And then we actually have breakout rooms where we have uh, people breaking into groups of two going into breakout rooms where they go and pray for one another. So, um, yeah, beautiful feature to have. 
and uh, it's as simple as that to work with it like i say just click on it now you can see my rooms are still there i can go and close them close all breakout rooms yes and remember what happens they've got 15 seconds before everything closes so if they have not left the session by then it will automatically close uh, and then everyone will just come back into the main session and then we can end things from there so yeah this is how we work with um, breakout rooms please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and i can always create content around that